Construction Bulletin in Africa, brought to you by Construction Review, Africa's leading construction journal. I'm Eric Maingi. In this week's news, Ethiopia's ICT Park materializes and Ghana's Foreign Ministry gets new office complex. East Park, ultra-modern complex construction underway in Nairobi, and Procter & Gamble's multi-category manufacturing plant in the offing. Internationally, OPG or completes 1.16 billion Niagara Tunnel project and Queen Alia International Airport opens new terminal in Jordan. Welcome. We begin the week's bulletin in Ethiopia where the Ministry of Communication and Information and Technology is to start construction on an ICT park known as Ethio ICT with a total financial outlay of $270 million. The park is aimed at boosting information technology services and offering reliable mobile broadband infrastructure in the country. The construction of the park whose design is finalized with construction set to begin within a month is planned to be hosted on 200 hectares of land behind Ball International Airport. More than 12 local and international companies have also registered and taken office space in the park. Addis presented the plans of the park at the 11th Innovation Africa Digital Summit held at the Sheraton Hotel recently, where the minister inaugurated the plan. The park will be completed in the next three years. Over now to Ghana, where the Chinese government has handed over $16 million five-story office complex to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration at a ceremony in Accra. The building, which has 141 offices, a 300-capacity conference room, and other mini-conference halls, a library, among other facilities, becomes a new permanent office complex for the Ministry. The facility was constructed in 17 months by the Yan Yan Group, a Chinese construction company. To enable the relocation of the Ministry into the building at the earliest opportune time, the Chinese government is equipping the complex with free furniture, office supplies and equipment to the tune of $1.3 million. The construction of the new facility became necessary when in 2009 the Ministry of Foreign Affairs building was raised down by a fire. Now in Kenya, construction is well underway on the proposed ISPA complex located along Thika Superhighway in Nairobi. The development by the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya will comprise an ultra-modern 12-story office block, shopping mall, conference facility, hotel and furnished apartments. The project that sits on a 2.1-acre piece of land is being developed in two phases at a cost of $11.7 million. Half of the amount will be provided by ISPAC, while the remainder will be sourced externally. The ISPAC complex will provide 63 parking on ground to free the rest of the compound for landscaping. In addition, 84 semi-basement parking under the studio apartment and 71 semi-basement parking in the office park will be provided. The office park will mainly be used for income generation and partly to accommodate the institute's secretariat. Now in South Africa, Procter & Gamble is to invest $173 million by building a multi-category manufacturing plant for both the local and export markets in South Africa. PNG's vice chairman in charge of Global Business Unit said that they aim to make SA's PNG manufacturing hub for the markets of Southern and Eastern Africa. Now he added that their global strategy is to maintain their strong momentum in developing markets according adding that the investment will create at least 500 jobs at PNG. Construction of the new plant is expected to start next year with production scheduled to begin in 2016. Global brands are progressively looking to emerging markets and Africa presents a compelling investment case for retailers. The Economist Intelligence Unit predicts that by 2030 Africa's top 18 cities could have a combined spending power of $1.3 trillion. Now we move on to Canada where the Ontario Power Generation Incorporated has announced the completion of $1.16 billion Niagara Tunnel project which involved development of water supply tunnels below the city Niagara Falls in Ontario, Canada. Developed by Austrian construction group Strabag, the scope of work involved development of an approximately 10 km long water supply tunnel near the waterfalls on the Niagara River. The new tunnel is capable of providing an additional 500 cubic meters per second of water to the Sir Adam Beck generating complex. The excavation of the tunnel commenced in September 2006. The construction works on the project lasted seven years. Now we move on to the Middle East, 
We are in Jordan, Queen Alia International Airport in Jordan has officially commenced operations at its $750 million new terminal. Built as part of the first phase expansion, the new facility spans over 100,000 square meters and features the latest technology and equipment to enable rapid passenger flow while maintaining safety and security standards. Two pairs of departure gates run along either side of the terminal, which also includes the main processing areas, shops, lounges and restaurants. The project was executed by airport operator Airport International Group AIG, while four certain partners were responsible for the design. After further expansion in the second phase, the airport will boost its passenger capacity to 12 million per year. Well, thank you for choosing to watch Construction Reviews Roundup this week. For more news, a digital version of our print edition, a directory and much more on the construction industry in Africa, visit us at constructionreviewonline.com. Until next week, I'm Eric Mindy.